stands and night stands still to obey his full command. The princes of this world he dethroned. Father, we give you praise. We bless your holy name, glory, honor, power. Adoration be unto you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus is my rock. The King of Glory is here. The King of Glory is here. The King of Glory is here. <laughs> the King of Glory is here, man. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's here. He's with you, man. <laughs> Give him the praise. By his love, the he had rent. No more penances and price we can pay. By his life that you gave, he atoned. Now we're called the sons of God. We are translated from darkness to light. Translated from darkness to light. To the kingdom of God, their son. Now we have dominion and power. <laughs> Amen. Ooh. Hallelujah. The name that opens all doors. Karima Kisiki Bashanda. Jesus is his name. He has a name that opens all doors. Say Jesus is his name. The King of Glory is here. The King of Glory is here. The King of Glory. Father, we give you praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on and celebrate with me. <laughs> we give God the praise. Ooh. The King of Glory. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus, we give you praise. Makasa <laughs> 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 Amen. The King of Glory is here. He's visiting you right now as you're watching me. The King of Glory is visiting you right now. He's visiting you in your homes. He's visiting you wherever you are. Is visiting you, whatever you are doing, the King of Glory is visiting you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The King of Glory, the King of Glory is visiting you in your homes, 
whatever you are doing, I pray the power that will visit you. The King of glory will visit you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The King of glory will visit you in whatever you are doing. The King of glory will visit you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The King of glory will visit you. You will receive a visitation, a visitation of power, a visitation of authority, a visitation of his grace. A visitation of his presence, a visitation of anointing, a visitation of principles, principles and guidance that will lead you into the power of the Most High God. The power that will visit you, the King of glory will manifest his power upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare one more time, the King of glory will manifest his power into your life, into your presence, in your coming in, in your going out, in the bus, in the train, in the tube, whatever you are doing, in your place of work, are you facing problems in your face of work? Are you facing difficulties in your place of work? Whatever situation you are going through, the King of glory will visit you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The power that will visit you with the power of the king of glory receive it by the power of the anointing in the mighty name of jesus i call upon the heavens i call upon the king of glory i call upon the king of kings and lord of lords as you are watching me right now receive the mighty visitation from the king of glory the jehovah shalom the jehovah jireh the omnipotent God, the ever-present God, in time of trouble, receive the power of visitation from the King of glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Kaskuribo sinkayabasanda, rokambari kosekata, basikerebo kenta na bosenta, make baribo sanka yemanda daba. Oh, did you remember to thank God? <laughs> oh yes, did you remember that every day you must thank God? The Bible says in all things, give thanks unto God. Whatever you are going through, whatever problem you are going through, whatever problem you are going through, is it good or is it bad? Whatever situation you are going through, God wants to take you to an unexpected end. The ways of God are not the ways of man. The ways of God are not the ways of man. Those things that look stupid, they look stupid to another man. When another man sees it, he sees that you are mad. He thinks that you are mad. He thinks that there's something wrong with you in your head. He thinks that you are not right in your senses because they look stupid to him. That is where the power of God lies, my friend. Those things that look stupid to, your, to, to, to another man is where the the power of God lies. I pray the power that will lift you up to an unexpected end. The power that will lift you up to an unexpected end. The power that will lift you up to an unexpected end. The power that will lift you up to an unexpected end. The power that will lift you up to an unexpected end. Receive it by the power of the anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I speak one more time. The power that will lift you up to an unexpected end. I call on the heavens, the most high God, the most high God. I call upon the King of kings and Lord of lords. 
The Bible says, call upon me and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. I use the chapter Jeremiah 33 verse 3 to call upon the name of the Most High God. He will that will release visitation and power, His presence into your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Kerembo sikayaba sandara. Maskaribati. Oh, Marikitinda Yaka. Oh, I thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What type of friend are you? What type of a friend are you? Are you a good friend or you are a bad friend? What kind of friend are you? What kind of friends are you keeping? Are you keeping good friend? Or you are keeping a bad friend. Some friends are good. Some friends are bad. Some friends have jealousy. Some friends have malice. Some friends have hatred. Some of them have anger. Some of them have pride in them. What kind of a friend are you? What kind of a person are you in Christ? The Bible says, whosoever is in Christ is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things are new. Don't you think it is better to have Jesus as your most high friend? It's better to continue with the Holy Spirit. Make the Holy Spirit your friend. Worship him every day. Speak to him every day. Magnify him every day. Let him connect to you. Every day begin to disassociate with him. That rather than having a human friend that we that, 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 rather than having a human friend it is better to have a friend in Christ. It is better to have a friend that pray every day. It is better to have a friend that will introduce you to prayer, that we that we introduce you into the things of the kingdom. It is better to have a friend that we introduce you into the king into the things of the kingdom. It is better to have a friend that we introduce you to Christ and introduce you into the things of God. By that way, you will be able to know that your friend is the right friend. That your friend is the right friend. Psalm 41 verse 9 says, even my close friend, my close friend, amen, my close friend, even my close friend, the friend who I trust, the friend who I ate bread with, the one I trust 24-7, the one I link with every day, the one I speak to every day, the one I speak to in the morning, I speak to in the evening, I speak to in the afternoon, has lifted up his heel against me. He has lifted up his heel against me. But this person is my friend. I speak to him every day. I, I, wash, I, I speak to him every day. We connect together. We connect together. But yet, this person has lifted up his heel against me. I pray for you by the power of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Every plan of the enemy that will lift up their heel against you and disconnect you from the kingdom of God. I pray the power of God will arrest them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Karembo si kayama sandara putika. Uriba kerebo kerebo senka yabatanda. Judges chapter 16 verse 18. When Delilah, this is between Samson and Delilah. Eh? Samson and Delilah. When Delilah saw that he had told her all that was in his heart, she sent and called the Lord of the Philistines saying, Come at once. Then the laws of the Philistines came to her and brought the money in their heads. Delilah betraying Samson. Delilah betraying Samson. How many friends have you betrayed? Why do you betray your friend? Your friend has money. 
but yet you betray him. He has things that are light, that are good, but yet you betray him. You betray him, you lie against him. Every power of the enemy that tried to betray and lie against you, every plan of the enemy that tried to betray you and lie against you for no reason, you have not done anything at all. There's nothing that you have done. But they group you into their group. You went to the shop together. You went to the shop together with your friend. But your friend is the one that have the problem. And then at the end of the day, the policeman came and they group all of you together. But yet you have not done anything wrong. And yet they group you among them just to get you into trouble, just to cause problem in your life. Whether because something is happening good in your life, whether you are have a good car or you have a house or you are manifesting or you are glowing, your, your glory is glowing, but yet they lie against you to bring you down. Every friend that tried to bring you down, every friend that tried Try to bring you down. The power of God will arrest them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every friend that try to bring you down, the power of the Most High God, we arrest them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The power of the Most High God, we put them to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. The power of the Most High God. We arrest them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Genesis chapter 37 verse 12. <clears throat> Genesis chapter 37 from verse 12 says, verse 12, And Joseph had another dream and told his brothers, he said, Listen to me, I have had a dream. I saw the moon and the stars bend down before me. Joseph told his brothers about the dream. Amen. And he said to Joseph, You should not tell us about the dream like that. Do you really think I and your mother will come and bend down for you? Joseph brothers were very jealous of him. Ah, everyone that is jealous of you because of your dream, everyone that is jealous of you because you are about to succeed, everyone that is jealous of you because God is about to lift you up to an unexpected end, the power of God will arrest them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The power of God we arrest them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The power of God we press them down in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every enemy that come together to lie against you, to make judgment against you, to put you down, to put you in a place that you are not supposed to be. The power of God we arrest them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The power of God will bring them down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The power of God will suppress them in the name of Jesus. The power of God will suppress them in the name of Jesus. I say the power of God will suppress them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The power of God will suppress them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Proverbs chapter, chapter, chapter 16. From verse 2 to 7. Whatever you do, whatever you do, whatever you do may be right in your own mind. Whatever you do, but the Lord knows why a man wants to do things. If you bring your ideas to the Lord, he will help you to do them well. Bring your ideas to the Lord. When you bring your ideas to the Lord, your brother will not be any no, anyone will not be able to betray you. If you have a problem and there is something going on in your life, why do you discuss with your friend instead of discussing with the King of King and Lord of Lord? He's the only one that knows the way out your solution. He is the beginning and the end. He knows your beginning. Your generational fathers, he knows all of them. 
every plan, every every line of, 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 of problem in your generation, the Lord knows all of them. He can bring you unto an unexpected end. He can bring you unto an unexpected end. He can bring you unto an unexpected end. So if you have ideas, he will be the one to help you with your ideas. He will be the one to solve that problem for you. He will be the one to bring you out of that problem. He will be the one to solve the problem you are going through. You are going through difficulty right now. You don't know what to do. You have been praying. You have prayed and prayed and prayed. You have fasted and fasted and fasted. But yet it looks as if nothing is happening. My friend, don't give up. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. It is always the plan of the devil to make you to lose hope. It is always the plan of the devil to make you think that nothing is going to happen. It is always the plan of the devil to make you think that nothing at all is going to happen but God is working something behind the scenes you don't know what it is the king of kings is working something behind the scenes the El Shaddai is working something behind the scenes the omnipotent God is working something behind the scenes the everlasting father is working something behind the scenes but you don't know what it is I pray the power that will lift you up to an unexpected End manifest upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I speak one more time the power that will lift you up to an unexpected end. Let it manifest upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Proverbs 20, verse 20. Stay away from people who talk too much. Stay away from people who talk too much. They try to lead you into sin. When you see somebody talking too much, church or church or church, cha 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 cha, church or church or church, church or church or church, they talk too much. Today they talk about this person. Another time they bring the other one. They they, they talk too much. Stay away. The Bible says it here. Proverbs chapter twenty verse nineteen. Stay away from people who talk too much. They will tell everybody about your secrets. If you have a secret and you tell your friend and you see that your friend cannot keep his mouth short, they will tell everyone your secret. Do not speak bad words to your parent. If you do, you will soon die. I didn't say that though. It's your Bible. Read your Bible. It's there. It's there. Read your Bible. It's there. Go and read your Bible. Do not speak bad words to your parents. If you do, you will soon die and your life will be like the light that goes out in the dark. All you children that speak that speak rotten to your parents, all you children that abuse your parents anyhow, you speak to them anyway. You don't have any respect for your parents. You don't have any respect for your father. You don't have any respect for your mother. You don't have any respect at all for any one of them. I am 16. I am 16. You can't tell me what to do. I will do what I like. I am 16. I am 16. You can't tell me what to do. It's your, not your business. I don't care. Yes, in this country, I am 16. I will call the police for you. I will call the police for you. My friend, you are playing with fire. You are playing with fire. Because when the problem and consequences begin to happen in your life, your father will not be there to save you. The Bible says, honor your father and your mother so that your days can be long. The key to long life is not through fasting and prayer. I'm speaking to the children. The key to long life, there is a key to long life. If you want to live long on this earth, if you want to live long, why is it that many people are dying at the age of 30, 40, 50, 60, uh, 20, 19, 17? Many people are dying very young. Most of these people have misused the grace of God. The grace of God is upon your life for a reason. For you to honor your father and your mother. Read your Bible. Honor your father and your mother. Why? So that your days can be long. If you want to live a long life, 
If you want to live a long life, the only way is through your father and your mother. Your father is the only one who can have access to you having a long life. Your, your father is the only one who can have access to you having a, a long life. If you are abusing your father and you are abusing your parent and you think that you will get away with it, let me tell you this. There are consequences for everything you do. You can tell your father if you want, leave me alone. It's not my your business. I don't care. I don't care. It's not your business. Leave me alone. There are consequences for everything you do in this world. If you disrespect your father, there are consequences. If you disrespect God, there are consequences. If you sin against God, there are consequences. The consequences must take place. You cannot escape it. Whether you do anything or not, there is no escape. Everything is in the Bible. If you want to live a long life, if you want to live a long life, it's not by seven, it's not by 40 days fasting and prayer. Oh. It's not by praying every day. Oh. It's not by jumping up and down every day and asking God, Rekebaya, I, I want a long life. Oh Lord, give me a... No, it's through your parents. Your parents are the only one who can have access to you releasing long life upon your day, releasing long life into your life, releasing long life into your life. If you have disrespected your parents and you are watching this video, go and apologize to them if you know you want to have long life. I am not the one speaking. Read your Bible very well. Honor your father and your mother. Why do you have to honor your father and your mother? The reason is for you to have a long life. Everybody wants to have a long life. Nobody wants to die young. Everybody wants to have long life. Nobody wants to die young. But if you fail to honor your father and your mother, there is a problem somewhere. You cannot go scot-free with what you are doing. You are disrespecting your parents. You are calling your parents names. You are telling them, oh, I don't care. You are a fool. You are a bastard. You are calling them all series of names. Why? Just because you are anger. I destroy that spirit of anger upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As you are looking at me through the screen, that spirit of anger that makes you to disrespect your parent, that spirit of anger that makes you to disrespect your spirit, I break that bondage by the power of the anointing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Wherever you are watching me from, that spirit of anger upon your life, I break the power by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Honor your father and your mother. So that your days can be long. So that your days can be long. So that your days can be long. Honor them. Pray for them. Pray for them every day. Pray for your father. Pray for your mother. Pray for your father. Pray for your mother. The more you pray for them, the more the, your, your long life begin to extend. The more you honor them, the more your long life begin to extend. The more you bless them, the more your long life begin to extend. The more whatever comes out of your mouth is a blessing and not a curse. The more your long life begin to extend. There's no need for you to be calling your parent name and abusing them in any form. There are consequences for things that you are doing. I am telling you this. Go and read your Bible very well. This is not a joke. This is serious business. God does not joke with things like that. You disrespect your parents, you face the consequences. You disrespect the word of God, you face the consequences. You commit adultery, you face the consequences. Go and read your Bible. The Ten Commandment. If you disobey any of the Ten Commandments, you will face severe, severe and serious consequences for it. 
Because you sin against God, God will not just allow that sin just to go away like that. He will punish you for what you have done, even though he will forgive you later and call you back by grace. That's why I look at what David said when God told David, choose three things. You want to fall into the hand of the enemy. Either you fall into the hand of the enemy or you fall into my hand. David said, Lord, please let me fall into your hand. I don't want to fall into the hand of the enemy. Let me fall into your hand. Because he knows that when he fall into the hand of God, the grace of God will draw him back. God will look upon him with mercy again and draw him back to himself by grace. If you have disrespected your parents, go and meet them and let them lay their hand upon you and pray for you seriously. Pray for you seriously. Pray for you seriously. Let them lay their hand upon you and pray for you very, very seriously in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Psalm 52, verse 12 to 14. For it is not the enemy who reproaches me, then I could bear it. No, it is he who hates me who has exalted himself against me. Then I could hide myself from him. But it is you, O oh man, my equal. It is you, my, my companion and my familiar friend. You are the one that raised your hand against me. It's not my enemy who reproaches me. It is you, my familiar friend. We who had sweet fellowship together walked in the house of God in the trunk. You walk in the house of God in the trunk with your friend. You are jumping up together. You are laughing together. You are smiling together. But it's this same friend that want to bring somebody down. That want to destroy somebody's life. It is better to have a friend in Jesus than have a friend of the world. The friend, this world, this world that we are. We never do anything good for you. The only person you need in your life is Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. He is the best friend you can have. He is the best person you can have as a friend. He is the be- the Holy Spirit is the best companion. He is the best friend you can have. The Holy Spirit will never let you down. The Holy Spirit will never leave you. The Holy Spirit will always shower his blessing upon you. Even though when somebody wants to do anything bad to you, the Holy Spirit will reveal it to you in a dream so that you can pray about him. The Holy Spirit of God is the best companion that you can have. The human being of this world will betray you. They will betray you. They will betray you. They will betray you. Don't trust any friend. I'm not saying you should not have friend. You can have friend. It's good to have friend. It's good to have friend. But don't rely on them too much. The Bible said it is not good to rely on man. Do not put your trust in man. Do not put your trust in man. Don't put your trust in a man. Because this, the man will let you down. Jesus will never let you down. The king of kings will never let you down. The Lord of lords will never let you down. The omnipotent God will never let you down. The everlasting God in time of trouble will never, 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 never let you down. Jesus Judas betrayed Jesus. Judas betrayed Jesus. Matthew 26 verse 21. Matthew 26 verse 21. And they were eating together and, and, and he said, Truly I say unto you, one of you will betray me. Brother, let me tell you this thing. Listen very carefully. When you are living in somebody's house, you have prayed. There's a reason why Judas, Judas betrayed Jesus. You see, one of you will betray me. That's what the Bible says. One of you, he looked at all of them. He said, one of you will betray me. Judas was a friend to Jesus. He knows where Jesus prays. He goes to Jesus. He was one of his disciples. He knows everything about Jesus. He knows the full history of Jesus. 
from Genesis to Revelation. He knows everything about him. He has moved with Jesus. He has walked with him. He has even ate with Jesus on the, on the, on the table. He died with him. He knows everything. He knows everywhere he goes to pray. He moves with him. He does everything with him. But yet, he betrayed Jesus. I pray for you by the power of the anointing. Any friend that look upon you to betray you in any way, just because you have something, they want to betray you. Just because you have something, they, they want to betray you. The power of God will render them useless. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I speak one more time. Any friend that wants to betray you into the hand of anyone. The power of the Most High God will render their plans useless in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And Jesus said, he, be he became troubled in spirit and testified and said, truly, truly, one of you who is eating with me will betray me. Eating with me will betray me. You have a friend who eats with you every day. They dine with you every day. They pretend to, to like you. They, pre they go to work with you every day. You take them in the car every day. You watch TV every day. You watch program every day. You know everything about them every day. But yet, they have a bad mind against you. They have a dangerous mind against you. Just because you are prospering. Just because you have a house. Just because you have a good job. They want to betray you into the hand of the enemy. They want to betray you into the hand of the enemy. Judas collected 30 silvers to betray Jesus. He collected 30 shikis of silvers to betray Jesus. Listen carefully. And when he collected this money, they gave him the money, 30 pieces of silvers to betray Jesus. And he went and betrayed Jesus with a kiss. He went and betrayed Jesus with a kiss. The land that was used for those 30 pieces of silvers was a, was a land of blood. Land of blood, land of blood. You betray your friends, you betray your children, you betray your children and use them for rituals. You betray your wife and your family and use them for rituals just because you want money. My friend, let me tell you this. You are you are treading on dangerous ground because that money you are treading on will not take you to an unexpected end. It is blood money. It is blood money. It is blood money it is blood money it is money from blood blood money money from the devil money from the kingdom of darkness money from the prince of darkness money from the princess of darkness in the mighty name of jesus i pray for you one more time the power that will lift you to an unexpected end receive it by the power of the anointing in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth when you have a mobile phone, have you ever had a mobile phone before? <laughs> you have a mobile phone or, a, or an iPad or a computer. Even if it's not a computer, most of the things in this world, you can see that they have been upgraded. There was a time we were using Windows 98. Now, in this present time, if you go and say you want to buy Windows 98, it will not work with the presence with the present upgrading that they have in this country now. It will never work because they have upgraded from Windows 98 to Windows Windows 10. And as soon as it, the upgrading will also continue like that from generation to come. There was a time they were using 3G on mobile phones. They upgraded to 4G, if you remember. Now, they have upgraded now to 5G. Very soon, they will move to 6G and 7G and 8G and 9G and 10G. It is the same thing in the kingdom of God, my friend. Listen carefully. <laughs> it is the same thing 
in the kingdom of God. The same way people are upgrading their mobile phones. The same way people are upgrading their laptops. The same way people are upgrading their channels, their televisions, their screens. They are upgrading things in the world. You can see the train, the, 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 the train that they use was in 1968. Was the train that they are using for coal. Now they are using a different train that is driving itself with a car. Look at the car they were using. The time was coming when they were using a car with petrol. Now they have upgraded from petrol to electric. People are not driving electric vehicles. Nobody wants to use petrol anymore. Nobody even wants to buy a petrol car again. That is how, that is how, that is how, how, how uh, 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 petrol will phase out gradually. Nobody wants to buy petrol again. Everybody wants to buy an electric car, which is the new thing in town. People are looking for the new thing in town. People are looking for the new face in town. The mobile phone is now gone up from iPhone 6 to iPhone 13. iPhone 13 now has gone up to iPhone 14 Pro. It will now move to 15 Pro, 16 Pro, 17 Pro, 18 Pro, 19 Pro, 20 Pro. It's the same thing in the kingdom of God, my friend. The more you begin to pray, Kareba Sikaya Makanda. Oh, I release authority right now. The more you begin to pray, the more you begin to pray, the more you begin to fast, the more God is upgrading you. Rekaba Kayaka. The more the power of God, you have been upgraded. In the spirit realm, you have been upgraded. God is upgrading you. God is upgrading you. He's upgrading you in the spirit realm. There was a time you are low. You are a no body. You are a low body. There was a time you began to drink. You began to play poker. You are playing poker. You are smoking and chatting. You didn't know what you are doing. But the time came when you left all those things away. You gave your life to Jesus. You confirmed Jesus. Oh Lord, I want to serve you. You gave your life to Jesus. Now you began to read your Bible. Now you began to pray. Now you began to watch things. At that moment when you begin to pray, you have left certain things behind. At that moment, the more prayer you begin to pray, God is upgrading you. He's upgrading you. He's upgrading you. He's upgrading you until you reach a level that he wants you to attain. And then you go out and begin to explore. Look at Peter. When Peter was a fisherman, he didn't know anything. Oh, when he was killing fish in the fish, he was killing fish as a fisherman. He was jumping and killing fish as a fisherman. But when he came to Jesus, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the powerful most high God, Jesus told him, from now on, you will become a fisher of men. You will begin to fish for men. You will no longer kill fish again. You will begin to fish for men. That means you begin to, 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 you begin to speak to men and, and evangelize to them. At that moment, Peter was being upgraded. God upgraded him, upgraded him, upgraded him onto the part of the power that he was beginning to perform signs and wonders, beginning to destroy the stronghold of the enemy, beginning to pull down stronghold. He was laying his hand on people. Demons were disappearing. People were raising up from the dead. He was upgraded to a level. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As you are watching me through the screen, you have prayed and prayed. You have served and served. You have washed and washed. You have manifested things. You don't know what is going on. You don't understand what is going on. The power that we up Upgrade you to the next level. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I speak one more time with authority and power. <laughs> Holy Spirit of God, I call upon you. Begin to move with signs and wonders. Those who are watching me through the screen, whether you are watching in your homes, whether you are watching wherever you are, in the prison, wherever you are, in your homes, in your dining room, in your table, on the chair, on the leg, wherever you are watching from all over the world I pray for you the power the power of the anointing 
that will upgrade you to the next level, to the next level, to the next level. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I speak again. The power that will upgrade you to the next level. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I speak again. The power that will upgrade you to the next level. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I speak for the last time. The power that will upgrade you to the next level. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, receive it by the power of the anointing, by the power in the blood of the Lamb, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let your name be glorified. Power of the Holy Ghost, begin to move with wonders, begin to perform signs and wonders, signs and wonders, begin to manifest, miracles, begin to manifest, let the dead begin to rise, in the name of Jesus, you that woman that is sick, you are sick, I break that spirit of sickness upon your life, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you have a back pain, a back pain, you have been going up and down, you have been going up and down, you have been walking, you have been walking, you have a back pain, a back pain troubling you, you don't know where the pain is coming from, you have a back pain, I pray by the power of the anointing, that back pain disappear in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by the power of the anointing, that back pain disappear, 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 that back pain I pray, command it to disappear. I command it to disappear. I command it to disappear. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That back pain that is worrying you. That doesn't allow you to walk. It doesn't allow you to walk. You cannot walk properly. But you are suffering from the pain. For years you have been suffering. For days you have been suffering. I speak to that pain. The Bible says, I will speak with power and authority. I speak in the power of the Holy Ghost. You demon from the pain Disappear right now In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Karebe sakayama kandara Koribo seka makebo Rekandari bo seka Maskere bo tendaya Ketere bo kandaraba Ori bo seka matendere Oh father I give you praise I give you all the glory In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth The back pain disappear 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 in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You have problem with your ears. Your ears, you cannot hear properly. You cannot hear properly. You cannot hear properly. I command that spirit of deafness upon your ear. You have something in your ear. You have something in your ear that you cannot hear properly. You have a hearing aid. A hearing aid in your ear. Something has affected your ear. You can't hear properly. There's a hearing aid there. You are using that hearing aid. God didn't desire you to use hearing aid. The Bible said God made man in his own image. When God made you, there was no hearing made. There was no hearing aid when God made you. Where does the hearing aid come from? It is from the devil. It is from the prince of darkness. You are using hearing aid. You are not supposed to use hearing aid because God made you in his own image. I pray that spirit of deafness that you are using hearing aid from, that spirit that spirit of deafness upon your life let it disappear in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that hearing aid remove it now and begin to declare the power of the Holy Ghost that spirit of deafness that's making you to use hearing aid disappear 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 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that spirit of deafness that's making you to use hearing aid I command it to disappear by the power of the anointing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command it to disappear. Let every yoke be broken. Let every body be lifted up the shoulder by the power of the anointing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You that hear in the aid. You that spirit of deafness disappear right now. Disappear right now. Disappear right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
kerebo se kama kandara basata maskari bote ye kandari bose ka makabare bakara bokeda rekebo si kerebo tendara basanda ye mbare bose ka ya makandara ba oh father i give you praise jehovah shalom i exalt your name king of kings and lord of lord omnipotent god ever present god in time of trouble let your name be glorified let your name be glorified let your name be lifted up let your name be exalted in the name of jesus christ of nazareth let your name be magnified O lord 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 in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth the bible says, by his stripes we are healed 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 isaiah 53 verse 5 says by his stripes we are healed i command the healing of god to rest upon you right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth receive your healing wherever you are 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 in the name of jesus christ of nazareth when somebody betrays you god has a plan for you when somebody betrays you god has a plan for you the only thing is i only except that person doesn't betray you to death some people betray their friend and take their life if you betray your friend and you take your life whatever money that comes out of it can never last but if you betray your friend and he leaves, sometimes God has a plan for you. Joseph brothers betrayed him to the Egyptians for a reason. Because God has a plan. Sometimes people can ask you to leave the house. Because God has a plan for you. You have been praying and praying. Are you not the person praying for God to help you? Are you not the person that's praying for God to help you solve the problem? There is somebody who has been slapping you in the house, beating you. This person doesn't like you. This person hates you with every passion. He doesn't like you. He doesn't like you. He kicks you on the back. He whip you down. He does everything to you. He doesn't even want to see you near him. You have prayed and prayed. You have prayed and prayed. You have fasted and fasted. All of a sudden, one day, the person tell me, walk out of my house. I don't want to see you there. Walk out and you are begging. Why are you begging? Why are you begging? Are you not the person that prayed for God to help you? Now God is trying to help you now for him to lift you to an unexpected. The ways of God is different from the ways of man. The ways of God is different from the ways of man. The ways of God is different from the ways of man. The ways of God is different from the ways of God. The, of God. the Bible says, my thoughts are not your thoughts. And my ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. And my ways are not your ways. That is what the Bible says. Begin to, Father, we give you all the praise. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We bless your holy name. We give you all the glory. All power in heaven and earth has been given unto you. Let your name be glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Father, we thank you. We bless your name. Glory, power, honor, adoration be unto you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you for this day. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the power of the anointing. Thank you for everything that you have done, O Lord. Glory, power. Thank you for the miracles, the miracles and signs and wonders that raised Lazarus from the dead. O Rakebokeya, the miracle signs and wonders that raised Lazarus from the dead. We give you praise. We give you glory, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' anointed name we pray. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you. Thank God for another day. We bless his holy name. We worship him because he's the king of kings and lord of lords. 
is the omnipotent God, the ever-present God in time of trouble. Don't forget, Jesus is the only one that can sort your problem out. Whatever problem you are going through, you have been smoking and smoking, you cannot get through it. All the smoking and the vaping you have been vaping, where has he led you to? Eh? Where has he led you to? Every day you cannot do without vaping. He's always smoking and vaping every day. Some people will even take seven cans of beer before they leave the house. That's your food, though. Beer. Before you leave the house, you have already drunk beer. That spirit of beer, come out in the name of Jesus. Kerebosika. Spirit of drunkenness, come out by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Kaboshika Yamasanda. I say, come out. Come out right now. Come out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Keboseka Yamasanda Daba. Come out in Jesus' name. Cannot do without drinking every day, smoking every day. All these bad habits that we imputate will not lead us to the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is not meat and drink. Learn to fast. If you are eating every day, you cannot fast. If you are somebody that likes food, every day is always food. You cannot do without eating. Today you eat amala. Tomorrow you eat eba. Every, the kingdom of God is not meat and fish. It's righteousness. Read your Bible. Righteousness in the Holy Ghost. The kingdom of God is not the eat food and eat. Do you know that when you are fasting, you are you there's there in, in there is there is a storehouse in heaven. You don't know that there is a storehouse in heaven when you are fasting, God is feeding you spiritually. God, that's why you don't get hungry. If you learn to fast very well, you will see that the more you are fasting, you are going through it because they have physical food the same way they have physical food, they have spiritual food. If you are eating physical food, they also have spiritual food. There's a food that is spiritual, but you cannot see it with your naked eyes. You can only see it if you have access to the things of the kingdom. So when you are fasting, God is feeding you through the spirit train. He's feeding you. He's feeding you. The more he's feeding you, the more your spirit man becomes alive. The more your spirit man becomes active. When your spirit man becomes active, the devil cannot touch you again. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The power that will enable you to be active, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Kembari Bosenda. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it by the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So we thank God for another day. We give him all the praise. We magnify his name. He is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Don't forget, always serve God every day. Find a church to go to, a Bible-believing church that serves God every day. The Bible says you will know them by their fruits. By their fruits, you will know them. By their fruits, you will know them. A lot of men of God have gone out today. Some of them use uh, 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 that red cloth. They use it to, uh, to touch their tongue before they come out and they begin to speak. God sees you. I'm telling you that. God sees what you are doing. You will never enter the kingdom of God. You are a man of God and you are using the bone to speak to people. And you are using it to collect money. God sees what you are doing. You will never, never enter the kingdom of God unless you repent and give your life to Jesus. Repent and give your life to Jesus. Because all those ways are the ways of the devil. You are using the ways of the devil to speak to people. You are using the ways of the enemy to speak to people. Repent and give your life to Jesus. Otherwise you will die in hellfire. You will die in hellfire if you fail to repent of your sins. The world is full of com committees, atrocities. You have people doing what they like in the world now today. People are wearing dresses anyhow. They are doing anything they like. They are wearing different kind of dresses. Every day they are wearing, wearing different kind of dresses. Looking at the kind of dresses that they are wearing. They don't care what they what, what they wear. They don't care what they do. They don't care what people say. 
they are just going about wearing different kind of dresses that they want to wear. It's nobody's business. And when you tell them, my friend, it's not your business. What's your problem with me? What's your business with me? I can do, do what you like now. Nobody is saying you shouldn't do what you like. But people are trying to correct you. That's what I've said this before, before in one of my videos. If you go and watch my video very well, don't say people are judging you. When you are doing something wrong and people are telling you, my friend, give your life to Jesus. Don't judge me. The Bible says it's because you don't know the Bible. You don't know the Bible. That's why you say don't judge me. If you know the Bible, you won't talk like that. You don't know your Bible. Go and read your Bible very well. You don't know your Bible. That's why That's why when somebody tries to correct you, the Bible says you are not allowed to judge. You are not allowed to judge. Do you know you are judging me? Who told you? You told me it's judging. It's correcting you. Correction. Correction. You are smoking. Don't smoke. Correction. You are, you are drinking. Don't drink. Correction. It's correction. You don't know your Bible. That's why you say they are judging you. No one is judging you. They are trying to correct you to bring you into the kingdom of God so that those bad things you are doing, you can leave them behind and focus on Christ and look unto Jesus the same way Peter was looking unto Jesus. He didn't sink. But the moment he began to look down, the Bible says he began to sink into the river. We will not look down in the name of Jesus. The power to focus on the king of kings. Ah! Hey, hey. The power that will enable you to focus on Jesus. The power that will enable you to focus on the Lord most of Israel. Receive it by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As long as you are focused on Jesus and you don't look for you don't lose focus, nothing can wave you down. Nothing can wave you down because you are focused on the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He's the only one that can take you through what you are going through. You cannot do it on your own. You can't do it on your own, my friend. If you are having problem and you see that some, you are struggling somewhere and things are not working right and things are not going the way it's supposed to go, go to Jesus and pray to him. Ask him to take you through. He's the only one who can take you through the unexpected end. The devil will never do that. The plan of the devil is to destroy somebody's life. Destroy them before they destroy you. Destroy the devil before they destroy you. Don't allow the devil to destroy you. Destroy them before they destroy you. They want to end their life. Let them end their life. Somebody who does not want you to succeed. Somebody who does not want you to grow. Somebody who does not want something better for your life. Somebody who is envying you, envying what you have, looking at what you have and does not want you to succeed. is an enemy. Destroy them before they destroy you. I pray for you by the power of the Holy Ghost. The power that will set your enemy alight. It will be the power that will destroy your enemies. The power that will destroy your enemies. The power that will make your enemies to be destroyed. The fire of God will consume them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every enemy that tries to stop your destiny. They shall be consumed by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because whoever is a new creature. All things are passed away. You have been called by Jesus. Jesus has called you. You are no longer of the past. You are now in the new. So because you are now in the new, you no longer belong to the devil. God has called you into his marvelous light. He has called you into his marvelous light. You no longer belong to the devil. As a result of that, every plan of the devil upon your life disappear by fire in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' mighty name, you have been called into his marvelous light. You have been called into his marvelous light. You have been called into his marvelous light. In Jesus' anointed name we pray. Amen. 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 Give God the praise. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord, for a marvelous time before your presence, Lord.
We thank you, Lord. Remember, don't allow the devil to make you to be sad. Don't allow Satan to make you to be sad. In all things, give thanks to God. It might be rough. It might be tough. It might look rough and tough. Things might not be going well. Things might be looking as if it's not happening. It may look as if nothing is happening. It may look as if nothing is happening. God is working something behind the scene. By the time he finishes, the devil will be shocked. Ah! How did this person make it? He didn't know. Because God is working something under, under, under to surprise your enemy. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. The power that will surprise your enemy. The power that will surprise your enemy. The power of the Holy Ghost that will make your enemy to be surprised. Receive it by fire in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The power that will surprise your enemy. Receive it in Jesus' name. We thank God we bless his holy name. Let your name be glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Omnipotent God, ever present God in time of trouble. Receive favor in Jesus' name. Favor of God come upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Favor of God, receive it. Receive it. Favor, favor, favor. Wherever you go, favor. You are going for an interview. Ha! Ah, receive favor of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are going to walk. Receive favor of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are going for an interview. Receive the favor of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Wherever you are going. Wherever you are going. Wherever you are going. Wherever you are going. Receive the favor of God. The favor of God will go ahead of you. Ah, I speak again. In the name of Jesus. The presence of God. Go ahead of you. In the name of Jesus. The presence of God. 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 Go ahead of you. In the name of Jesus. When the presence is already ahead of you. You just have to walk majestically because his presence has gone ahead to prepare the place for you. Ah, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that place that you want to reach, that job that you want to get, that job, you have waited for that job. You have done an interview. You are waiting for, 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 you are waiting for, 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 for. You, are, you, you are waiting for them to get back to you by email. Oh, that interview that you have done, Rekem Bari Posenka, you are waiting for a reason for them to get back to you. Receive the job in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ah, I speak one more time. Oh, that interview, receive your job in the name of Jesus. I speak for the last time. <laughs> that interview, receive your job in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' anointed name. Receive it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Father, we thank you. We give you praise. Blessed be thy holy name, for thy mercy is endured forever. Oh, your goodness and mercy begin to follow you. Oh, ha, ha. Goodness and mercy begin to follow you. 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 I declare, I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says, whatever word I speak cannot return back unto me voice. It shall fulfill that which has been accomplished. Goodness and mercy begin to follow you all the days of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We give God the praise. We give God the glory. All power, all honor, all adoration be unto him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' anointed name we pray. Amen. If you want to give your life to Jesus, whether you have been doing certain things in the past, whether you have some bad habits that you want to give up, you have some bad habits that you want to give up, there are certain things you have done in the past that you want to give them up and get rid of them upon your life and concentrate and focus on Jesus. Just the same way Peter was praying on Jesus. It's time to give your life to him 100%. This is not 70%. Too. 90, not even 99%. Because if you are doing 99%, it's not right. 
you need to do 100%, 100, 100, not 99%. You are going in the corner, even though I don't see you. He sees you. He sees you in the corner. You hide in the secret under your bed. You go under your bed. You go and smoke. You put it out. He sees you. He sees you. If you do anything in secret, is the God that sees you cannot hide anything from him. Everything you are doing in secret, his eyes are open wide. He sees everything that you are doing. You can't hide. There's no hide. that You can't hide from God. He's the ultimate one. Ah, the ultimate one. You can't hide from him. You can't hide, though. You can't hide from him. You can't hide from God, though. He sees what you are doing. That secret thing that you are doing, he sees everything open. And he knows everything. Even though he might not tell. He knows what you are doing. Even though you don't have the Holy Spirit, you have guilty conscience. If you are doing something bad, your guilty conscience will tell you, you know that, I'm not lying. If you do anything bad, if you steal somebody's money, your guilty conscience will tell you, I just stole money. Guilty conscience. Benny, your guilty conscience will prick you. Eh, you thief, you stole money. If you steal meat in the pot, your guilty conscience will prick you. Eh, you stole meat. If you steal somebody's food you, and you do anything wrong and you go to the bank and rob the bank, your guilty conscience will prick you. Eh, this money doesn't belong to you. Why are you spending it to a thief? The power that will enable you to erase upon your life, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The power that will erase every negativity upon your life will bounce upon you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If you want to give your life to Jesus, close your eyes, say these words after me. Say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I look up to you once again. I have not been straight. There are things I have done that are wrong. There are things that I have done in the past that I'm still doing. And I see that I cannot leave it alone. It's difficult for me to leave it alone because by human understanding, I cannot leave them alone by myself. Father, I come to you, Lord. Help me in the name of Jesus. You are the only one that can help me. Every bad habit that I have, I cannot leave them alone. I keep going back to it every time. It's difficult. It's difficult. It's difficult for me. I cannot do it by my power. Come, I surrender to you, Lord. Come and help me in the name of Jesus. Help me to leave all my bad habits behind. Help me to leave all my bad habits behind. I surrender myself to you, Lord. I surrender myself to you, Lord. Help me, O oh Lord. You are the only one that can help me. A human being cannot help me. No one can help me. All my bad habits, I keep going back to them. I keep doing it every day. I surrender to you. I surrender myself to you. Help me, Lord. 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 Let the power of God come upon me, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Power that will help me to surrender my bad habit. In the name of Jesus. I take all my bad habits. I remove them in my life. Every bad habit tormenting my life. I remove them by the power of the blood of Jesus. I say once again. Begin to speak after me. Every bad habit in my life. I remove them by the power of Jesus. And I wash them away. In Jesus anointed name we pray. Amen. 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 Remember the Bible says that by the, by the tongue of your confession, salvation is made. You have just confessed and removed all those bad things in your life. I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, the power that will uplift you to an unexpected hand. Receive it by the power of the anointing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be lifted up. Let your name be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' anointed name we pray. Amen. 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 If you said those words before me, the heaven is rejoicing for you right now. 
The Bible say, at one soul, at one soul, heaven will always rejoice. Any soul that repents and totally give, totally, it's not 99%, totally surrender your life, total, everything within you, totally surrender your life. Look at the way you dress. Don't dress shabby again. Don't expose your body. Don't expose your back. Don't expose yourself when you are going out. Remember the Bible says your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. You can tell somebody it's not your business. I, I not your business. It's not your business. Don't get involved with me. Well, it's not your business, but it's better for somebody to tell you. Remember the Bible says if you see your brother doing something good, it's in your Bible. If you see your friend doing something good and you don't tell him, I will require his blood from your head. So if I don't tell you, if you are doing something good and I don't tell you, God will require your blood from my head because I fail to tell you what is right. So the same thing when you go outside and you see somebody doing something bad, tell him that what he's doing is bad. It is not corresponding with the kingdom of God. It is not corresponding with what God says in his word. Tell him on the face that he's doing the wrong thing. Tell him on the face and his blood will not be required from your head. I pray for you, the power of the Holy Ghost that we envelope you to an unexpected end one more time. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank God for another day. We bless him, we give him all the glory. Let your name be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank God for all those who are watching, whether you are wherever you are watching from, I thank God for your life. I pray that as you are watching me on this video, the power of God that will enable you to succeed in whatever you do shall manifest upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I also pray for your children. You are watching me on this video. You have children. You have families. You have children. You have families. Or you have children. All your children shall succeed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All those who are watching me on this video. All your children shall succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know those who are still watching. Maybe some people have not been able to see. But those I can see, Nanga Smili, the power of God will rest upon you mightily. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your children will succeed. Your family will succeed. Anyone that lays his hand upon you shall be destroyed by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Rapekete, I do you know like today? I did. I pray for you by the power of the Holy Ghost. The power of God will envelope upon you. Prince Adedeji, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. The power of God will rest upon you. And all those who are watching, I pray for you by the power of the anointing. The power of God that will lift you to an unexpected end. Oh, Rakinda Ribosenda. Oh, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Receive it by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I give you all the praise. I give God the glory. Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Rapha, let your name be glorified. Let your name be exalted. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy One of Israel. Thank you, Lion of Judah. Thank you, Shekinah, King of Glory. Miracle signs and wonders begin to manifest upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, miracle, miracle, signs and wonders begin to take place. Oh, Lord, honor my word in the name of Jesus. Let miracles begin to transform the life of these ones. In the name of Jesus, the miracle that will transform your life to an unexpected end. The miracle that will transform your life to an unexpected end. Oh, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' anointed name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We bless God. We give him all the glory, all honor, all power, all adoration be unto him in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be lifted up. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you everyone. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Now and forevermore. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Shall we share the grace together? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 God bless you all in Jesus' name. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you, everyone, for watching. The Lord will continue to prosper you in everything that you do in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will continue to lead you. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget. Before you leave house in the morning, lay your hand upon your children. Prophesy into their life. Prophesy into their life. Use your mouth to prophesy into their life. Use your mouth to prophesy something good into their life. Use your mouth to prophesy something good. And I pray that prophecy will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That prophecy that you have prophesied into your life will come to pass. Don't forget, your children are very, very useful to you because they are your tomorrow. You don't know who among them will be great. You don't know who among them will be great. You don't know who among them will even be looking after you. You don't know who among them. God has a plan. You don't know the plan that God has for all of them. That's why you need to look after them very, very carefully and make sure that as they begin to grow, they begin to grow in grace. The power of God will begin to rest upon them. The favor of God will begin to rest upon them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Bye for now until another time. God bless you. Stay blessed in Jesus' name.